It is the 11th day of September 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasaj and these are the stories making headlines across the country from Arua district. Now Arua continues to register cases of people who are diagnosed with signs and symptoms of anthrax, a disease that affects cattle and ends up attacking people who feed on the meat of such animals. The district has registered more new cases posing a great threat to human beings and animals. Dr. Willie Nguma, the district veterinary officer, says the land failure by government to provide vaccines for livestock in time possesses more threats with the anthrax spreading to more areas in Arua. The most affected areas are the Kato Corridor along the Nile Belt. Dr. Nguma confirmed that a total of 200 48 people have been uh, have been undergoing clinical diagnosis of clinical anthrax treatment. This follows after the death of 18 <coughs> livestock from the time of the outbreak of the disease in the district. The new cases of outbreak have been confirmed in Paraboko Parish in Powo sub-county. This is because the residents have decided to feed on the meat of animals that die from anthrax and end up contracting the vice. Now news from Mukono District. Mukono District has started a campaign to address the rampant cases of animal theft which according to the designs includes the Presidential Pervert Reduction Program, Operation Walk, Wealth Creation Items. The Mukono Resident District Commissioner Hajna Samunulo disclosed this on Friday as he paraded the latest suspects who he said have been nabbed after stealing two cows from Lucy Farm in Chito Village, Nambale sub-county the previous night. The suspects are Edward Boadu, 25 years, of Chito Village, Saverino Bazompola, 19 years, and Richard Moteraba, 24 years, all residents of Kalaji Trading Center in Nabale sub-county. Police officers at Nagalama Police Division headquarters who got wind of their plan posed, a, posed as buyers and laid an ambush from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. with the intention of catching the thieves in the act. According to the Nagama Division Police Commander Jessica Nawi, they agreed with the thieves through a third party to meet in a bush to finalize the deal. Um, the policemen who had been planted earlier arrested the three after they had been allegedly received after they had allegedly received the agreed amount of money okay as we continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country let us take a break and look at what is making headlines into the scope of the new vision our headlining story today says chilumira murder new details emerge how phone call headed handed officer how phone call handed officer to assassinate to assassins what that is, a, that is a story that we should read. It is right here on page 4 to page 5 of the New Vision. We also see a woman, woman murdered with Jeremy laid to rest. It's actually the front picture of today's copy of the New Vision. The lady was, the lady was called Rest in Baba Zinalinya. She was buried in Gomba yesterday. The story is also here in detail. So get your copy of the New Vision to find out who she was and... How did she uh, end up, you know, in Chilumira's car that evening? Now, most stories we see cabinet versus civil servants allowances. What led to this? The stories on page three inside the new vision. Okay, let's go to another story. We see FDC denies NGO funding, mark students suspended, and more thefts hit Mukono district. The stories are in detail into the scope of the new vision. We see FDC says opposition is not funded by foreigners. And then will deployment of LDUs help contain high profile murders? The story is right there inside the new vision. We see Chitata co accused blocked operations. Mm, says witness and then pray for Uganda Olanya tells Kilaji and Christians. The stories are in there and what has prompted them inside the new vision. Okay, let's go to the pullouts that come out every Monday. Our first pullout is the oil and gas journal, which says oil body to set up offices in pipeline areas. 
Those are some of the stories you should read and how you will benefit from the oil when it is time to be extracted. We see total uh, total trains, trains, oil and gas welders. Stories right there. And then Petroleum Authority to set up local offices. Stories are in detail in today's oil and gas journal pullout. So grab your copy of the new vision for more inside that pullout. And also, as I always tell you, every month we give you a pullout which is called the New Era. The New Era talks about the China and Uganda relations. So today we have the New Era out and it says for CAC 2018 renewed commitment for development. This is uh, FUKAC happened uh, a week ago in China. Uh, African leaders of state were hosted by the president of China. And we have the details of what transpired during uh, that visit inside today's copy of the New Vision. We see, we see Beijing, Beijing unveils new scholarships for African countries. How will you participate and how can you be part of the students who will uh, get those scholarships from Beijing? The story is in there in today's in new era then uh, another pullout it is my holiday companion this one comes out every day it's at, it actually targets pupils those ones who are in all holidays so our story today says the following in mom's footsteps we see uh, a child here she's actually cooking washing utensils and then peeling matoke do you know how to peel matoke I've even thought about it this holiday. Someone right here is doing that and get to know what inspired them to do it. And also, you could uh, try out a search while in your holidays. Okay, there are more stories in my holiday companion. And uh, we see uh, oh, do it yourself, make yummy fruit pancakes. How can you make them? I see a recipe here. So grab your copy of the new vision for those stories. Okay, let's cross over to her vision. Her vision also comes out every Tuesday. Her vision says, uh, when a call must see conquered Africa. These must be power. These are really powerful women. So get to know how they did it and what they won inside her vision pull out today. Her vision also gives you fashionista giving away, getting away with Denny Matwak. Okay, the story is right here, how you can pull that off if you are into fashion. Now, in the sports docket, the sports docket says, is De Sabre in charge? Is actually a question. So get to know whether he is in charge and what the writer thought for you. Then we see C uh, Singapore name team. What is the team going to do and where are they going to have their match and which match? Uh, the story is right here in the sports docket. We see Interbe in fine shape. Why in TV, why not Masaka? Sports has the stories here for you. There are more stories in this docket, so grab your copy of the new vision at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are proudly the leading daily. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Rothina Senya. Let us continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. From Gomba, the family of Restim Babazi, who was also known as Nalinya, a 25-year-old woman who was shot dead alongside ASP Mohamed Chirumira, have appealed to government to make thorough investigations which will lead to the arrest of people who were behind the gruesome murder of the duo. Babazi was buried this uh, yesterday afternoon at Impanga village in Penja sub-county Gomba district at her father's home Alozia Skaitari. Sanyam Kasa, the bereaved sister, said Mbabas was the only breadwinner at home and her death was a big, uh, a very big blow to the family because she was supporting their parents financially. The family described Mbabas as a close friend to ASP Chirumira who always approached her, st her stall to make mobile money transactions. Kaitari, the deceased's father, appealed to government to investigate the, de the death of his daughter because as the family, they need justice for their slain daughter.
Let's close the bulletin from Iganga district where police have recovered an AK-47 rifle loaded with 11 rounds of ammunition from a sugarcane plantation in Kasolo village, Bulamaji sub-county in Iganga district. Police say the AK-47 rifle is one that was used by armed thugs who, rob who robbed a beer depot uh, owned by an Indian businessman along Kaliba Road in Iganga municipality recently of over 90 million shillings. Now one robber was shot dead while another was arrested after the police flying squad later surrounded the, sug the sugarcane plantation upon receiving information from locals. The suspect robber later hanged himself while on detention in Iganga Central Police Station by using his own shot. The AK-47 rifle was recovered by one of the casual laborers known as Akim Hababiri, one uh, on the sugarcane plantation who alerted Kasolo police post. The district police commander Iganga, Nasibu Ndita, say the armed robber who was holding the gun letter threw it away before being shot dead by the police flying squad. And that's all we had for you from Mira Finasege and the New Vision TV team. Remember, you can get more news updates and other programs on our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also subscribe to our social media platforms. Facebook is the New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. You can also find me on Twitter. I am Rothy Nasuje. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.